Welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn how to detect the data spill problem in your Spark application and then how to solve it. We will discuss two, three approaches for solving your spill problem, implement uh, one of those and see how a spill goes away or how to verify if you fixed the spill problem. So let's start with the scenario. So we have a very simple scenario. I have a team, they build a Spark job. They are testing it in the test environment. And then they came back with the problem that their jobs are running slow. So can we do some investigation and see if we have some opportunities to optimize or tune or do we have some health problems in the job? That's a usual task. Whenever you create a Spark job, put it in the QA environment and usually you do some basic investigation of uh, if there are something to be tuned. Right. So that's the request I have and I'm going to do that. So how do we start? So I'll go to my test cluster where the job is running and look at the Spark UI. Job has already finished. Uh, I'll go and look at the Spark UI. Uh, maybe I'll start with the SQL data frame tab. I'll go there and look at what all the queries were executing for that job, the job that I want to investigate. You will see maybe 20, 30, 50, 70 queries, depending upon how big and complex your job is. Uh, I have only one because this is a kind of curated um, code. So I see only one. But if you see 10, 15, 20 jobs, maybe you will sort it by duration and start investigating those queries which are taking the maximum time because that's where maximum opportunities could be lying. So I did that job in, in that uh, exercise. I found that this is the query which is taking maximum time. Uh, it's taking 18 minutes. So I took that, I created a benchmark notebook and now I executed that benchmark notebook and I'm here. So I have only one job to investigate or one query to investigate. So uh, let's do that analysis. Uh, my query is uh, running with uh, four jobs in the background right in behind the this single query we have one two three four jobs so it is finished as four jobs 